Pipe Smoking, Wikipedia Article Audio Pipe smoking is the practice of tasting the smoke produced by burning a substance, most commonly tobacco, in a pipe. It is the oldest traditional form of smoking. History A number of Native American cultures have pipe smoking traditions, which have been part of their cultures since long before the arrival of Europeans. Tobacco is often smoked, generally for ceremonial purposes, though other mixtures of sacred herbs are also common. Various types of ceremonial pipes have been smoked in ceremony to seal covenants and treaties, most notably treaties of peace. Tobacco was introduced to Europe from the Americas in the 16th century and spread around the world rapidly. In Asia during the 19th century, opium was added to tobacco and smoked in pipes. Madak turned out to be far more addictive than orally ingested opium, leading to social problems in China which culminated in the First and Second Opium War. According to Alfred Dunhill, Africans have had a long tradition of smoking hemp in gourd pipes, asserting that by 1884 the king of the Baluka tribe of the Congo had established a Ryamba or hemp smoking cult in place of fetish worship. Enormous gourd pipes were used. Pipes In the 20th century, Pipe smoking has been adopted as a preferred method of inhaling a variety of psychoactive drugs, and some claim it is a more intense method of ingestion. Smokable crack cocaine has a reputation for being more addictive than cocaine's insufflated form. Similarly, methamphetamine has gained popularity in a crystalline form which when smoked in a pipe lets the user avoid the painful nasal irritation of snorting. When not applied to a cigarette or joint, the liquid form of PCP is typically smoked in a pipe with tobacco or cannabis. Water Pipes Sales of pipe tobacco in Canada fell nearly 80% in a recent 15-year period to 27,319 kg in 2016, from 135,010 kg in 2001, according to federal data. By comparison, Canadian cigarette sales fell about 32% in the same period to 28.6 billion units. Spoon Pipes Pipes have been fashioned from an assortment of materials including briar, clay, ceramic, corncob, glass, meerschaum, metal, gourd, stone, wood and various combinations thereof, most notably, the classic English calabash pipe. Culture The size of a pipe, particularly the bowl, depends largely on what is intended to be smoked in it. Large Western-style tobacco pipes are used for strong tasting, harsh tobaccos, the smoke from which is usually not inhaled. Smaller pipes such as the Midwak or Kisiru are used to inhale milder tobaccos such as Dika and Kizami or other substances such as cannabis and opium. Notable Pipe Smokers Water pipes bubble smoke through water to cool and wash the smoke. The two basic types are stationary hookahs, with one or more long flexible draw tubes, and portable bongs. Spoon pipes have become increasingly common with the rise of cannabis smoking. Spoon pipes are normally made of borosilicate glass to withstand repeated exposure to high temperatures. They consist of a bowl for packing material into, stem for inhaling, and a carburetor for controlling suction and airflow into the pipe. These pipes utilize a two-step process. First, the user inhales while lighting the smoking material and holding down the carb, allowing smoke to fill the stem. Then, the user releases the carb while inhaling to allow air to enter the stem and smoke to be pulled into the user's mouth. 
Men. Women. Fictional characters. Health effects. The customs, vocabulary, and etiquette that surround pipe smoking culture vary across the world and depend both on the people who are smoking and the substance being smoked. For example, in many places in Europe and North America, Tobacco pipe smoking has sometimes been seen as genteel or dignified and has given rise to a variety of customized accessories and even apparel such as the smoking jacket, and the Pipe Smoker of the Year Award in the UK, as well as the term capnismology. The ceremonial smoking of tobacco or other herbs, as a form of prayer, is still practiced in a number of Native American religious traditions. Cannabis culture has its own pipe smoking traditions which differ from tobacco pipe smoking. For example, unlike tobacco smokers, cannabis users frequently pass a single pipe among two or more partners. In recent years, hookah bars have appeared in college towns and urban areas in America and Europe. A number of real and fictional persons are strongly associated with the hobby of pipe smoking. More examples can be found in the Pipe Smoker of the Year list. The overall health risks are 10% higher in pipe smokers than in non-smokers. However, pipe or cigar smokers who are former cigarette smokers might retain a habit of smoke inhalation. In such cases, there is a 30% increase in the risk of heart disease and a nearly three times greater risk of developing COPD. In addition, there is a causal relationship between pipe smoking and mortality due to lung and other cancers, as well as periodontal problems, such as tooth and bone loss. However, all tobacco products deliver nicotine to the central nervous system and there is a confirmed risk of dependence. Many forms of tobacco use are associated with a significantly increased risk of morbidity and premature mortality due to tobacco-related diseases. Jared Doe, Self-Portrait with Long-Stemmed Clay Pipe Man Smoking Kisiru Cover illustration of the novel Komangawa by Sand Kaiden, 1790 Georgian composer, Melitin Balankovad's smoking pipe. Tiger smoking a bamboo pipe, Korean folk painting from Joseon period. Extended mouthpiece for pipe smoking woman, who is performing in a circus. New York, 1930. Arab man smoking pipe, late 1800s. Various styles of Native American ceremonial pipes. Lord Wilson. Model, 1894, by Frances Galofra I. Aller. Portrait of a Fisherman, 1890, by Dionys Baxeras I. Verdaguer. Portrait of a Muslim, 1880, by Simo Gomez. Gallery. Substance-specific pipes.